today I did two summer inspired looks for you. They're natural and easy to wear. Um, the first one is a mostly waterproof look so if you're hanging by the pool or chilling at the beach um, it'll stay on your face. The second look is perfect for hanging out when you want that natural summer glow so I hope you enjoy. Alright so first what you want to do is put on some tinted moisturizer and I'm using this one from Urban Decay in Bulletproof. Just put a little bit on your finger and dot it on. <laughs> you can just add a powder and I'm using the same one that I used in my foundation routine. It'll make it more matte and make it stay on longer. That completes our face for now. And now we're going to move on to the eyes. What you want to do is just use waterproof um, stuff. Like waterproof eyeliner and whatnot. So this isn't waterproof, but I'm just using it as a base. And it's Chilled on Ice by MAC. And it just looks like that. And it has little sparkles. That will reflect the light well and give you your eyes. Now for eyeliner, we're going to use this Prestige um, Waterproof Automatic Eyeliner in Smoke. And this is the color right here. So you're just going to line the eye as you would normally do. These Prestige eyeliners come in different colors, so if you don't want a black, you can get a brown or you can get like a blue or any color that you This is waterproof, so it will do, it won't smudge off if you get into the pool. And you'll still have that definition. And what's really important about summer pool makeup is that you define your features well so you don't just look like, oh, she's not wearing makeup. You wanna look natural. If you wanna use a gel eyeliner, like if that's your preference, a good gel waterproof eyeliner that you can use is this one and it's from Makeup Forever and it's the Aqua Cream Liner and it's in brown so it looks like that. Then we're going to curl the lashes and apply this Big Fatty Mascara in Waterproof and it's just the black one. So back to the face and we're going to use um, highlighters and stuff so that when the light catches your face it just gives you that glowy tan kind of look. So I'm going to be using Shell from um, MAC and it's just um, a cream color base and they're like, you can use them on your eyes or whatever and your face. So I'm just going to put it on this cheekbone right here, right on top of it. So right where the light hits it naturally. And then you can go down the center of the nose. And then um, bronzer, I'm going to use this cream blush actually, and it's in blunt. And I'm just going to put it where the sun would naturally hit me. I'm going to be using this paddle brush by Sigma, and it's the large powder F20, if you wanted to know. So just get it on there, tap off the excess, and then do the 3E. And then blend it out with the clean part of the brush. So. blend it back. This is just going to give you the sun kissed look. And then for blush, we're going to be using a cream one so that our cheeks again look glowy and moisturized. And I'm using Posy from MAC. And I love this one because it really looks natural on any skin tone. So just put that on the apples and then blend it.
and you're ready to go to the pool. I'm going to be doing the summer look. So if you're just walking around and it's summer and you want, you want all like natural and gorgeous, then this is what you're going to do. And you're going to wear a little bit more makeup since you're not going to the pool and you don't have to really worry about it melting off as much or getting like wet. Um, so I'm going to start now and we're going to be using a little bit more eyeshadow and stuff. So I still have that base on from earlier and it's um, chilled on ice so it has a little sparkles so that will show through. And then I'm going to be using this eyeshadow right here and it's from Mary Kay. Um, but you can get this color anywhere. It's just like a peachy pink light frosty color. We're going to be using this flat shader brush from Sigma and it's the large shader E60. And we're just going to put that on the inner half so you're going to stop at this arch right here with the color. So you're going to pick up some of that and then stamp on the color up to this little indent. If you push it, it'll go there. So inner half. So now on the outer half of the eye, I'm going to switch brushes to this more dense, this more dense brush right here. It's still like a shader brush, and um, this is the eye shading E55, and it's good for blending as well as putting on color. So I'm going to use that, and then the color that I'm using is this one right here in this Coastal Sense Shimmer Palette, right there. But you can really get any goldy color anywhere. So I'm going to put that on the outer half of the eye, the other half of the eye. And you're going to just put the brush like this. And if you push in right here, you'll have a, like a crease area, I guess, if you don't have one already like I do. So just put that out to darken it a bit. And then once your wipers in, your eye socket. And so this is just a shimmery gold color. Now we're going to take a blending brush and this is a Sigma Taper. <laughs> This is the Sigma Tapered Blending Brush E40. So you're just going to blend that out where that was. And since we have mostly shimmer right here on the lid area under that eye socket, we're going to put a matte color up here. And to, use that, to do that, I'm going to use this really big, fluffy, dense brush so it'll just knock down some of the sparkles a bit. And this is the large fluff. Um, E50 using the shade from the Coastal Sense, like the regular one. This has matte colors in it. And I'm going to be using this color right here. And it's just like right here. And it's like a nude, um, matte, yellowy, goldish color. So just using that on this brush and knock down some of this color. What makes this look really great is the pop under the eye that we're gonna do. So, to do that, I'm going to be using a pencil brush just like this one right here. And it's the Pencil E30 and it's really nice. From Sigma, of course. Um, the color that I'm going to use, it depends on your eye color, but for me, I'm going to be using this purple color right here. But whichever color that you want to use, you can use it, because we basically used all neutral colors up here, and then we're going to waken it up right there. So go into that purple color, tap off the excess, because you don't want it flying down. And you're just going to look up. So 
I'm going to be using a color from MAC and it's just this peachy color right here and it's called